Hello, I'm Joe McCarthy, Technical Evangelist here at Catchpoint, and in this video, I'll talk about the pitfalls that will surely catch you out if you solely depend on AWS CloudWatch Synthetics to monitor your cloud environment and your end-user performance. AWS CloudWatch's only job is to focus on the performance of the AWS Cloud from within the AWS Cloud using their Canary Synthetics. Well, that's all well and good. But what happens when AWS CloudWatch Synthetics is reporting everything looks good from their perspective, but the end users, the people consuming these services that work from office buildings, from home, and customers coming in from various locations are complaining of poor performance. And to add to the complexity, for these users to even get to the AWS Cloud, they'll need to traverse the internet. And most likely, there are SaaS applications scattered across multiple data centers the need access to also. So as you can see, relying on AWS CloudWatch Synthetics leaves many blind spots when trying to understand what the true performance of your end users are. And let's face it, your users and customers is what it's all about. So it's very important to change the perspective from focusing on just the AWS Cloud to focusing on the end user. Don't look from the AWS Cloud out. Instead, switch and look from the users in. To do that means looking at the application delivery chain and looking at it in a more realistic way. So like before, we have users coming in from various locations like offices and home offices, coffee shops, and customers coming in over a variety of types of technology. It could be wireless, 3G, 4G, laptops, tablets, you get the picture. And they're accessing, as we mentioned before, the systems in the cloud and data centers. However, the cloud isn't just the AWS cloud. It's typically multiple clouds because people normally do have more than one cloud provider. Also, understanding that users are coming in from all over the globe to access these resources. So when you're setting up your monitoring, you must keep that in mind. Those global users are coming into your systems through the internet. Now, unpacking the internet reveals there are many components to it. The first thing they touch is the last mile. These are the ISPs of the world, and everyone must touch one of these many providers to get onto the internet. And remember, each provider has varying levels of reliability and performance. Next up, users hit the backbone transit networks. This is basically the core of the internet. And again, there are many providers in this space also with varying reliability and performance as well. After that, there are additional services like DNS, content delivery networks, and security providers, and any third-party services. All these components affect how your users experience your application. So having the ability to monitor all of these components and vendors that provide the services is key to providing a good digital experience. So as you can see, there's a ton of complexity between the end users and your systems, which is why Catchpoint has come up with what we call the four pillars of digital experience monitoring. These four pillars support the end user experience, and it all starts with availability. So is it up and running, but is it available to all? Next is reachability. If you see your stuff is up, but your customers can't reach it, well, you failed. So now all is up and reachable. You need to make sure everything is performing well. And it's more than just monitoring your specific cloud applications. You need to monitor all those areas we spoke about earlier, the last mile, backbone, DNS, and other services. All must be performing well and at the same time. And finally, there's reliability. You need to make sure availability, reachability, and performance are all happening well over time. So as you can see, focusing on just the AWS cloud leaves a ton of blind spots. To eliminate those blind spots and provide effective DEM, you have to do monitoring according to the real world and with a user-centric focus. And that requires covering all four pillars of end user experience. To do this, there are several must-haves for an effective digital experience monitoring strategy. To start, you need to do monitoring of real users and understanding what they're experiencing as this is really the whole point. But you don't want your users telling you there's a problem. You need 7x24 proactive monitoring. This monitoring needs to be robotic in nature, continuously monitoring all the systems. 
This testing must be from everywhere because that's where your customers and users are. They're global. Testing everywhere is great, but you must also test everything that is in your application delivery chain. Don't leave any blind spots. And of course, you need a comprehensive set of test types, digging deeply into all the components that affect your end users. To do this, you'll need advanced API capabilities to get to that data and make it available for analysis. So now you have the data, what do you do with it? The data you do collect must be complete and granular. You don't want aggregated data as you're guaranteed to miss something. Having this raw data ensures you'll have accurate results and minimize any false positives. Of course, this requires big data and digging through this can be daunting, so you must have advanced analytics and charting capabilities to make this data usable. And finally, you must be able to do this all within the SaaS world, as this is probably the biggest blind spot of all. Now that we've discussed the effective digital experience monitoring must-haves, we need to talk about the only solution that covers all of them. And that's Catchpoint. Only Catchpoint can provide this level of end-user monitoring. There are many solutions out there that claim they provide DEM, but it's only a subset of what it takes to provide effective digital experience monitoring. So to bring it all home, you now understand that using AWS CloudWatch Canary Synthetics is like having a canary in a coal mine looking at only a very specific location and everything looks great. But when you broaden the scope of your monitoring, you see all the dangers out there that will cause issues with your end user performance and most importantly, will affect your bottom line. Also, having the fox watching over the hen house is never a good idea. So relying on AWS to monitor its own cloud performance? Well, I'll let you be the judge of that. Thanks for watching. For more information on Catchpoint Solutions, please visit the link provided.